everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. So have a really positive week. Let's get right on with your readings. So Scorpio, let's see what the Teacup Tarot has for you this week. And the overall energy here, the message here is the Knight of Teacups. This card reminds you to stay balanced. This card reminds you to just go steady. Don't go rushing into things. Don't make fast decisions. Go steady. Think it through. Step back. Keep your emotions balanced. Just don't make hasty decisions. Just go steady. Your help or your hurdle, the seven of coins, says it's time to pause and have a rest. Following on beautifully from the Knight of teacups here. The Seven of Coins says seeds are well planted. You've done the groundwork. Harvest will come in divine and perfect timing. And just for now, you need to pause and rest and there's no need to worry. The seedlings are planted. The groundwork is done. The success will be here when these seedlings are ready and fully grown. You can't make them grow any faster. So just for now, look after them, pause and rest and know that the success will be here in appropriate and divine timing. The Magician card in the guidance position of the reading says, you've got everything you need. You are ready. You can do this time for you to shine. You have everything that you need, have that self-confidence and know that you can do this. All is well. How can we help ourselves? Card 21, the world, is the card of a job well done. This is the card of completion of a project. This is the card of celebration. It's also the card of starting off on the next new adventure. It's advancement, it's success and moving up to the next level. Pulling it all together, the five of teacups reminds you to move towards joy. Leave behind anything in the past that may be holding you back. Acknowledge it's there. Take from it all the wisdom, all the life experience, all those pearls of wisdom and make your move towards joy. It's here for you. It's right in front of you. You just have to know it's there and know that you can do this. And here is the success. What a lovely card of success for the outcome. The King of Wands is confidence. The King of Wands personifies success. The King of Wands knows exactly how to be successful. Just as importantly, is willing to share this information with other people. The King of Wands has very much a business-like entrepreneurial energy attached to the card. The King of Wands has learned how to be successful and he's willing to share this information with other people. So this could be you sharing your expertise, your knowledge, your wisdom for the benefit of other people. Or it could be somebody coming in to share that wisdom with you. So let's just summarise. Stay balanced, go steady. No rash decisions, just take it slow and steady this week. Know that the seeds are well planted. There's no need to worry. The success will be here 
in appropriate timing. And yes, you've got this. You have everything you need. You can do it. Have this confidence. This is a card of confidence and so is the King of Wands. Have the confidence to do this. The completion of one project, and just as importantly, the start of the next new adventure, going up a level, achievement success, and being ready to move on with your next new adventure. Take those positive steps towards joy and do it with confidence. Do it with love and know that the help is here if you need it or share your expertise, your knowledge, your success with others and guide them along with a step-by-step -step plan so that they can be successful too. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The 14 of Wisdom is the card of balance. We're talking about staying balanced here. This says it's time to bring wonderful new ideas together. Focus on balance, focus on compromise to get the results that you seek. Balance and compromise are key mindfulness words for you this week. The five of emotion, five of teacups, double message, same card, different deck, moving on from the past, following the positive signs towards joy. And the 13 of wisdom is the card of new beginnings. This is transformation. It says take time out to rest and relax. That's just what we're talking about here. Then move on and start exploring wonderful new chapters. Be ready to accept this opportunity. You've got everything you need. The next chapter is waiting for you. We were talking about that here. The next new adventure, here it is again. Be ready to move on with that. Explore these wonderful new chapters and move towards joy. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's free. And then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.